Carlos, you guys were not shy all year long about talking about your expectations for this season and what you wanted to accomplish as, as the season ends here. How do you kind of look back on this on this year? Um, is this on? I mean, it was a, it was a fun ride. Uh, ended a little short, as we thought as a team, you know. But you know, uh, so enjoyed the time together. On your left, third row up. Hey, this is for both you guys, both Carlos and Gavin. What did individually what you guys accomplished this year, this season mean to you? I guess probably for different reasons, but what did it, what did it mean to you individually? Um, yeah, I think just the, you know, for me it was the experience, experience of being here, experience of being with, you know, a bunch of incredible veterans. Um, yeah, just learning as much as I can. Um, you know, got the taste of the playoffs. Obviously, obviously right now it sucks. Um, it hurts. But, you know, to be able to have this experience the rookie year, um, I, I think I can only grow from it. And I think as a team, it's the same way. We're only going to grow from it. Yeah, I mean, it was fun to watch and you know, to talk about the group, you know. You have to watch Gavin here grow, uh, be a pretty impactful player. Um, it's hard to do as a rookie because it's very intimidating. Um, but he showed up and played well. Uh, show some pe people that you can play some baseball. I had a lot of good things happen this year. Um, a lot of people proved some people wrong. You know, Tim kept on hitting like he always does. Cease, you know, you saw him develop into, into something special. Still has some room to grow. And, you know, a lot of people helped this team win. Middle left, James. Carlos, you talked about uh, anticipating the adrenaline kind of carrying you a little bit. Did you feel that today? And did you did you know that you were going to have that kind of top velocity before you got on the mound? Yeah, yeah. I you know I knew about a couple of days ago. I felt pretty close to normal, and then you know add in that add in the crowd and you know, an amazing crowd. And first time for me to you know see some playoff games at home, and it's it was it was something special, special for me to watch. Um, special for me to be a part of, and you know they definitely helped today. Although we, you know, didn't come out with a win, but it was still, you know, still enjoyable. On your right, Bruce. Uh, for both you gentlemen, uh, what was the impact for for both of you guys, and maybe your assumption of what it was for the the team itself with uh, Tony this year? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Sorry, Bruce. Uh, what, what was the impact of Tony uh, on you guys individually and, and team-wise this year as, as far as him coming in here and fitting in, helping you guys get to this point? Yeah, I mean, Tony Tony's a very special manager. Uh, it's second all-time in wins, if I'm correct. Hall of Famer. He just, you know, brings a lot of experience into the clubhouse. Um, he's seen a lot of baseball games. Very, you know, very, very wise, wise man. Um, it was just a pleasure to play for him. I mean, not many guys can say they played for a Hall of Fame manager, you know. Yeah, I, I know for me, just, you know, to come up as a rookie and have him in my corner since day one um, means a lot. He's He's been around some incredible players. He's he's won a lot of games, won a lot of big games. Um, and he's a Hall of Famer. And, you know, he's been in every one of our corners the whole time. And, and when you have a Hall of Fame manager in your corner and supporting you, you feel like you can do anything. So um, he's been incredible to play for. Anything else for these two? We'll go to Maddie on the aisle on the left. For both of you, I just want to follow up on what Gavin said about expecting the whole group to grow from this. How do you expect that to see that moving forward? Yeah, I think that, you know, it's it's a learning experience for all of us. But, um, you know, we, we got a big taste of what it's like to play at home in the playoffs. And I don't think anybody's going to forget today and Sunday night, you know, just what it was like, the crowd, the blackout, the support. Um, 
you know, that burns a fire and that, that makes you want to do it again. And, you know, with a different outcome. And I think last year, you know, we got to the wild card. This year we won the division. You know, we're just going to continue to grow. And I, I think that going into the off season, you know, we're, we're all going to be talking about that atmosphere and wanting to play in front of that again. And that's going to be the goal from day one when we step into spring training. So, um, yeah, I expect us to, to come right back next year with the, the same goal in mind. Yeah, I think uh, Gavin hit it there. Uh, we got the taste for it now, um, especially with the fans being back. It was just, you know, not, you know, we play 162 games and uh, just to be able to experience, you know, you play 162 games to experience this, these playoff moments. And like I said, we have the taste for it. And I think we're going to be pretty hungry trying to get back to to where we're at and exceed exceed where we were this year. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Left-hand side, Russ in the middle. Uh, Carlos, this one's for you. Obviously, nobody knows what the future holds for you. I don't think you know at this point yet, but you've been a part of this organization since 2014, number three overall pick. As you walk off the mound in that first inning after two punch outs and, and have your best stuff, to be a part of this crowd and, and think about what you've accomplished this season and maybe a culmination of your time in Chicago. Like, what did that moment mean for you? Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was it was it was definitely a special moment. Um, it's been a it's been an interesting road for me and. Uh, just to have the opportunity to uh, pitch an important game, um, it meant a lot. So thank you, White Sox fans, and thanks, or thank you to the organization. All right, middle section, all the way in the back. Carlos, uh, some some players, you know, head right into the clubhouse after a uh, elimination game like this. It, it looked like you know a few of you guys stayed there to watch for a little bit. Just what was going through your mind in, in the mo in that moment after the final out, and you know, as you alluded to everything you know that you've gone through. Yeah. Um, you just kind of think through the season you had, and then you. Look at the guys out in the field that are cheering in front of you, and I mean, for me, I wanted that feeling. Um, so that's why I just sat there, sat there and watched just for a little extra motivation. Let that sit there for me. I'll take one more on the left side, third row. Hey, Gavin, you talked uh, about the work you put in this last off season to get to this point. So, what is having the success you did this year? drive you towards for 2022 and beyond now? Yeah, it's, you know, same goal, same just to continue to build. Um, you know, if you told me last October that I'd be sitting here right now in front of you, I'd, I'd be thrilled. Um, it's been an incredible year, um, but mainly just, just being with these guys. These guys are special. Um, you know, Carlos is special. The veterans on our team are special. and. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue to work hard, be a, try to be a part of this again next year, and um, yeah, continue to, to you know chase the goal, chase the goal, win the World Series, and whichever way that is, you know, however I can help this team out, um, it's what I'm going to do and what I'm going to prepare for.